when when you made this little gem, you, you totally knew that this was going to become a complete cult classic, right? You had that down. Was I in it? <laughs> no, yeah, no. We we thought we were making a nice little B picture, actually. That uh, had friends of ours that we'd worked with before in it, and uh, we had a lovely time making. But uh, you know, we didn't think anything, think much would come of it. But I think because of the the rise in DVDs right around that time, ninety nine, two thousand was when. DVDs had really peaked, um, and since this didn't, didn't do so great in theatrical release, it just found a life there and mushroomed into this. this yeah, I think it was right, thing. maybe right at the time when, or you know, shortly after the time that a movie didn't necessarily have to survive exactly. theatrically to, you know, um, get its money back or have some kind of impact, because uh, we thought it was dead <laughs> until people started doing the dialogue on the street in front of Behind them. us. And yeah. In front of um, us. And that's the first time I realized that something else was going on, so. Yeah. I, at first, wasn't aware of, of such, of the connection that the movie had with so many people, because that was never my work experience. I had labor, you know, I had, was a bartender, I painted houses, stuff like that, but I never worked in an office, because I had no skill whatsoever to work in an office, but. <laughs> yeah. um, Welcome to the club, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so, the, yeah, um, uh, never had a, uh, a relationship with a cubicle until this movie. Okay. I had a actually had a relationship with a cubicle because I'd worked uh, temp uh, in New York when I was a starving actor doing lots of, lots of theater in New York. So I'd do temp jobs and go to offices, and they would set me up doing strange things, uh, within, mostly within cubicles or making cubicles or... <laughs> Uh, typing, uh, I, I remember one Christmas Eve, I had to type paychecks. Uh, everybody else was out party. It was very Milton-esque. I was in, in the back of the room <laughs> typing paychecks that I would get wrong, and people were eating cake and drinking uh, champagne in the, in the front. So uh, I was a little aware of that world, yeah. 